hello guys you are welcome yet again to another video and i mean this video first of all we are going to start off by scaffolding our laravel application as well as our react application so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to create a new folder for our react application uh, oh sorry document so let's create a new folder for our react application and um let's call this we're gonna call this um um contact manager all right let's just keep it lowercase contact manager and um let's go create our laravel application my exam my ht docs folder and um i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna call this rename or new folder basically and we're gonna call this um contact manager all right guys so now that we have created the both folders i'm going to get into vs code and just control shift back tick and um we are going to move straight um into our documents folder and we're going to move into our react folder and then contact manager and right in this folder is where we are going to be creating our React application. And to create our new React application, we're going to be using MPX. So we're going to say MPX um, create React app. And we're going to call this app contact manager. All right. And um, while we are waiting for MPX to scaffold our contact manager application, I have already opened another terminal and um, we're going to create our new Laravel application right here too. So I'm going to go backwards as well as backwards too. And I'm going to move into our exam folder and into our HT docs folder. And right here is where we are going to create our React application. And um, before we create our React application, please. Be sure that you already have Composer installed on your machine um, before you can be able to create, and um, before you can actually be able to use this command I'm about using. And now to create our project, we are going to say Composer create project. All right, and we're going to say Laravel slash Laravel. And what should we call our project? Contact manager. And now, we're just going to wait for the both of them to be scaffolded. All right, guys. So our application is um done installing for our Laravel as well as our React application. So you can see um we are using the latest version of Laravel, which is version six point zero. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clear this terminal, and um let's just um open folder and let's get to our application. All right. And in our application, um, on the documentation, this is what we were asked to install. But for some reasons, anytime you try this, it always kind of shows an error. So um, this is actually what I do. And this answer has really helped me a lot since I think Laravel 5.8 or so. So I'm going to just copy this right now and get over to our console. and. Um, I'm going to paste that in here and click on enter. And right now, while our application is, um, while our time on JWT package is scaffolding, of course, we are going to be using time on JWT package. So while it's scaffolding for, uh, to generate our JWT token for our application, I have also cleared this, our console for our React application. So I'm going to go straight into our React application here, documents, and we want to go into React and right in here select our application and now our application has come up so we're going to install a whole uh, a couple of um, things and i already pasted them here on my notepad so i'm just going to copy each and every one of them all right just copy them copy and um, right here we're going to do yarn add paste okay mm -hmm okay while that is installing let's just open a new terminal 
Actually, if I copied that whole thing with Ctrl C and then pasted it, it was going to reflect. But then I was wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this screen a bit so that we can just basically see each and every one of them. Uh, let's move this a bit to the left. And then let's move this a bit to the right so that we can basically see all what we need to install. So I'm going to do here, say, yarn add. Of course, we are already installing Material UI Core, which we're going to be using for this video. So we are going to now add the rest of them, say, yarn add. And um, we have at Material UI slash the icons. And um, we are going to also use React Redux. And we're also going to use Redux and Redux Tonk. Redux Tonk. And um, React Router DOM. We won't be using Axios because we are going to be using the Fetch API. And now I just press Enter. And um, so what is going to happen now is um, we're just going to wait for all this to be done scaffolding. And um, we can then continue from there. All right, guys, so it's done installing and we forgot one last package. And I'm going to add that. Oh, sorry. I'm going to add that package here by saying yarn add react router. Yep. And now that should be just about all the packages that we are going to be needing. And um, our Laravel application um, of um, JWJWZ auth is already done installing. So while we are waiting for this to uh, Maria Grata to install, what we can do now is just head straight to the documentation and um, follow the documentation. The next thing we need to do is this. Oh, sorry, let's go back. The next thing we need to do is to generate our secret key. Oh, no, not generate a secret key. First of all, okay, so after we have done this, this is 5.0 and 0. We have to add this, but we don't need this because we're using 6.0. So we are going to generate our secret key. And um, this is going to be generated in our .env file. So let's just head back straight here. And we are going to need to paste this here. And um, PHP Artisan JWT secret. So guys, having generated our secret key, um, something we actually missed out on was, um, um, we actually missed out on something. We should have done this before generating our secret key according to documentation, but nevertheless, what we're going to do now is we want to publish this application so that it can generate for us a config slash JWT file. So we are going to do this and just click on enter. And yep, it has done that for us. So if I do config slash JWT, here we have a config file right present here. And now we can then move over to the next thing, which is after doing that. Oh boy. So now let's go. Yep. So after now we are now done doing that, we can then update our user model. So we're going to go over to our user.php model. And in our user.php model, we want to do a couple of things according to the documentation, which is to implement JWT subject. I'm going to copy that right now and just come over here. And oh boy, uh, I thought I copied that. So sorry, guys. Let's just control C to copy. And now that implements JWT subject. And um, we're going to add these two functions. Uh, let's just copy all this. And we are heading straight. So what I'm going to do is let me just push this. And let me also zoom in too. All right. So that we can also close this. And now let me scroll down. And we'll have to add these two functions. And let's get this. Uh, control X and move that. Okay, so we already have it here, so we don't need that. All right, so we have now added this. Let's get rid of this. We have now added them um, get JWT claims and get JWT identifier to our application. And now it's now time for us to configure the off guard. So they said, no, this will only work if you're using Laravel 5.2 and above. And of course, we're using Laravel 6.0, so that should not be a problem. So what we want to do now is to reconfigure our authentication guard. So I'm going to go into um, of the PHP in our config. And um, I don't like to use this generic API name when we are actually doing that. So what I am going to do is um, 
what I want to do here is let's just go back to documentation and you can see let me copy all this for reference purpose in our application so I'm gonna just come down here and paste this in here and never mind the errors we are having so now you can see here it says default guard as web so we want to change our default guard to be api and uh, our, of course our password is going to come from users and now in our api guards we now have driver and we have provider and um, blah 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 so what i want to do now is i don't want our default api guards i don't want to be called um, api so i'm going to call this users and um, the reason why i like to call this users is um, let's say we were trying to create a uh, per se a multi, maybe multiple authentication system, API authentication system with this. And we won't want to have a generic name of API. We want to have, let's say, a generic name of, let's say, users, a name of users, of admin, of super admin, and of stuff like that. So let's just take this as users, and our password is going to be users. And um, so we can just get rid of this now. And now we can say, based on the guards, we are going to kick off by here, calling this users. And users is going to use our JWT driver. And our provider is also going to be users. And um, we can see the second guards of web. Um, okay, we are actually missing out on something which, oh, sorry, there's actually some conflicts here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these users here. Just cut this out of here since we already have the guard. We have already set our defaults already. So, our default is guard. Our default guard is users, so we're going to get into our guards, and this is web, and we are going to just get that in here. So our default guard is not going to be web anymore, web anymore, but it's going to be users, and we don't really need this API anymore. We don't need this API anymore. Should we set hashes for it? Nope. Let's just comment this out. All right, and now we just move down here to our providers. We want our users to be able to use Eloquent and, of course, the user class model. All right, guys. So that is just about that for this. So I'm going to save this right now. And when I do Control Shift back tick, and um, I just run PHP artisan serve, it should serve our application on port 8000. So I'm going to get over to my browser. And if I just do localhost on port 8000 and I click on enter, you are going to see our Laravel application perfectly. All right, guys, so that is that for this video. We have successfully set up our API and um, we are using time on JWT. In the next video, we're going to go straight up into writing um, the login aspect of our application basically the login part of our api application sorry not just the login but the login and the registration part of our application which is the api part of our application